Hey, the million dollar question. Should I clean my birdhouses out at the end of the season? The answer is yes. It is highly suggested. I have seen situations where birds will go into nests if they have room. They will build the nest right on top of the other one and, and use it. Or I've seen them actually come in, clean the nest out and restart it. But for the safety of the birds, the health of the bird, we'd like to clean it out. We'd like to get in case there's any leftover bugs, grubs, slugs, um, any parasites, anything like that. We want to get it out. So we do suggest you clean it out um, when you have a situation where you have what I call the hanging birdhouses. You have to go underneath. You need the screw gun to get it out and clean it out. The suggestion is have a pair of needle nose. It helps get in there. It helps pull them out. You also need, you also need gloves because of the crap you're going to get in there. If you have the easy boxes, look at that. You got your mess in there. As you can see, the reason you need gloves, you get the bugs and the whole mess in there. So what we like to do is we like to empty this out. Take a brush. Whack it real quick. Pack it out. I do suggest if you need to have some kind of cleaner, some kind of just soap and water, hey, spray it in there just in case there's any parasites left. That is uh, for the good safety of the bird. Let it air dry, set it up, go back and hang it, place it. Hey, takes two minutes. How easy. The suggestion, suggestion is yes. Let's clean up. Let me show you how I cleaned out some of the others. But that's what it is, the tools of the trade. Uh, the other thing you want to watch is as you're buying birdhouses, you might buy some fancier ones, but they have some poor cleanouts. This one does have one at the bottom, um, so it helps, but it's thin. If you get some of these fancier ones, there's no clean out. There's no way to clean this one out. You gotta go in. It's tough. So if you're building them, buying them, making them, Make them nice. And this one, I did put the roof down solid, but I sit this one on a platform. So I take it off the platform, I can clean it off, set it right back down. Makes it easy. These are the best. Hey, let's go uh, clean out some of them. Come on. If you have a house that has a roof that moves, that makes it so much easier. The gloves are important. You want to clean this stuff out. Now, you're ready to go. Takes you less than two minutes. It's great, easy way. And this one, I love these. This one is a roof. So we go inside and we look at, we see we've had several nests in here. Now look at these sticks, these are great. I'm gonna just drop these in the ground. They're gonna use them next year. All this stuff, you see the uh, feathers. There you go, less than five minutes. This birdhouse is a hanger. So what we need to do is take the two screws out of the bottom. Let the bottom come out. Take the junk, knock them off. Gotta have your brush. Brush it out. Brush it out, put it back together, it's ready to go. There you go. That's the hanging ones. Let's check out some others. It's springtime, getting ready. Gotta love these easy ones where the roof comes off. What's neat about this one is, love it when they come out real easy. But you look in here, look it. Oh yeah, you got all the nesting. Um, I saw a black cat chickadee in here. I'm gonna leave this stuff here. We're going to dump it out.
setting ready for a new family. Okay, here you go. Here's one of these fancy birdhouses that somebody made for me. Great gesture, but they put no clean out. I didn't know what they were doing. This is where the needle nose come in handy. I want you to notice there was a hole in the front. They have packed this so tight, they actually knocked a hole in the side and now are nesting from the side. Okay. All set. It's done. I know it's for the birds. So for all you bird brains, hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. I'm Ken Deininger, just another Backyard Project.